What a big day we're having here on the homestead, folks. Why? Because I finally got around to making a DIY concrete floor video. And if you're watching this, you're probably exactly like me. You have a concrete floor that is really ugly. You're not uh, independently wealthy, so you can't afford to get it polished or polished and epoxied. And the last thing you ever wanna do is go to the big box store and buy a gallon of the gray garage floor paint. Because before we moved into this house, the owners were kind enough to slap garage floor paint on the basement floor. And as you can see, it looks like a dog's breakfast. But not only that. I too took the bait and applied the garage floor paint for its exact intention. And after two years, it looks like garbage. So I've always been under the impression that there's like no middle ground when it comes to finishing concrete. You either go pro, where a crew comes in and they do the acid etch and all the fumes and business, or you go the other way, which is the only DIY option, which is the gray garage floor paint. My frickin' fridge is beeping. I need to shut that off. And then one day out of the blue, I'm sitting on my deck, crushing tin on a beautiful sunny day. My buddy calls me and he's like, hey, I just uh, finished my basement floor. I did it myself and it looks amazing. You should see it. And I'm like, get off the pot. He's like, no, it was an easy uh, DIY job. I saved thousands of dollars. He's like, you should come check it out. I'm like, okay, I'm on my way. So I go over to his house and I shoot this brilliant vertical video for you all to enjoy. And lo and behold, the floor looks amazing. Now, like I wasn't super crazy about the color he chose, but luckily this product comes in, it comes in like dozens of colors. So not a big thing. I was sold, like sold. And keep in mind, that's like a $2 million house. And Buddy builds houses for a living, so you know, what's good for the goose or whatever. So I come home, I go on to DIYconcrete.com. I see the exact same thing he had at his house there. And I order this uh, color my ugly floor kit or whatever, something like that. Ordered it on a Monday, showed up at my door on Thursday. And lo and behold, here we go. Water-based concrete stain, eco stain, mind blown. So on the website there, it's showing that this comes in at about 56 cents a square foot. You know, that's not dirt cheap, but it sure is a lot less expensive than epoxy is. So, you know, and the fact that you can DIY this is amazing. So without further ado, let's get at it. Okay, so we're gonna get started with this uh, degreaser that they sent in the kit. Obviously, I'm gonna have to clean the floor first, but I just wanted to go through this little box that they sent along with the color of my ugly kit. It has a bunch of stuff in it, like plastic for the walls, tape, like not Walmart tape either. It's like 3M tape, a brush to put the stain into the concrete, gloves, a roller, a tray, all these little things. And at first I was like, oh, that's kind of hokey. But now that I've opened it up and gone through with it, I'm like, as a DIY guy, I'd probably make like five trips to Home Depot getting all these little widgets. So we're just gonna start with this cleaner. I'm gonna show you my floor to let you know what I'm dealing with. It's kind of a, a mess right now. Oh, and they sent this little sprayer too. They put the stain in and spray it on the floor. It's kind of cool. Breaking news. When COVID started, we decided to take on a little project in building a new house. <laughs> and because I cannot afford a new house, I have to do a whole bunch of DIY stuff. Save a couple thousand dollars here, a couple thousand dollars there, whatever. Doing this floor is one of those DIY projects that I can do. As you can see, the concrete is a hot mess. The drywallers have got drywall mud everywhere. Painters got paint everywhere. The framers got glue all over the floor. So I'm really going to have to clean this. Uh, you may not have to do that with yours, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to run to Home Depot. I'm going to get a floor sander 
put some water on here and put that degreaser on there and try and get all this stuff off so we have a clean floor. Although this is a very important, come off the pot. Although this is a very, very important process, I won't spend a lot of time on it because everybody's probably a little bit different. I'll just quickly show you how I'm getting this floor clean. And I'm starting with that degreaser that came in the kit. What I'm doing is just soaking the floor with it. And then you can see it makes a chemical reaction as soon as it hits the floor. Then I'm coming over it with that Home Depot uh, orbital sander that I rented. Once I go over it with the sander, I rinse it with a hose and then I shop back up the water, maybe rinse it again. I might have to take off a little paint here and there, but that's basically the process that I'm doing. I want this floor, like it's got to be in condition to eat off of this floor and then we'll apply the stain. You guys, one thing I cannot stress enough is to make sure you have a place to test this. So I tested in my storage room, I tested underneath the stairs, I tested inside a closet, like different, different kind of techniques until I come up with something that I, that I really wanted. Um, very important, very important. And as you can tell, I'm no longer using the uh, sprayer that was provided in that kit. My buddy has this sprayer, so I just borrowed this from him. It holds more and it pressurizes a little more so that I can get more of like a mist. Because with that other sprayer, I felt like it was getting on a, a little too thick. And if your concrete's not super level, then it'll pool up quite a bit if you get it on too thick. So just nice, thin, take your time. I mean, it dries, it dries super fast, so you don't have to, I, when I started doing this, I was putting it on too thick and that was a mistake because the concrete, um, it pooled and it kind of looks, I don't know, it's not, the, it's not the look that I'm going for. Laser beam of a light on there right now. I just wanted to show you, this is an example of where it pools because my concrete's a little low right there. So I put it on too thick. I don't like that. I'm just going to wipe it real quick and then I'm going to put a thin coat on. But so now I'm just putting on super light layers. I don't even know what this is going to come across as on the camera, if you can actually see, but this is just going to be a super light layer. And then I will uh, let this dry, go over it, do a couple more coats. Kind of missed the spot. And now I'm kind of screwed because I don't want to walk across it wet. Oh, got to move the camera. Hey, in that last shot, I was carrying this sprayer like a complete tool. So I fixed it for you. Now I'm carrying it like just a little bit of a tool, not a complete tool. It's looking good. So the color I'm using is called Oak and it's uh we're kind of going for like a southwestern kind of almost desert vibe down here in this basement. So we're trying to make it look kind of terracotta, you know, hand done, kind of a little artsy. It's actually really cool and it's just very straightforward, you know. Mix the stain in the sprayer, three to one. Start doing your art. Okay, folks. Well, I've got the floor is stained. I'll show you that in a second. It's just a little wet right now. 
So now that it's stained, we're gonna seal the concrete. It has to be sealed. So it's pretty basic. It comes with a part A, part B, two part thing. If you have trouble figuring that out, you probably shouldn't be doing this project. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so I'm gonna, it conveniently mixes like three to one or whatever. You just dump both of these in the pail. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm in a little bit of a hurry here. Boy has hockey practice coming right up. So we're just gonna buck this all together, stir it up. I'm gonna go down. I actually have people working in that basement tomorrow morning. So I kind of have to get this done. Oh boy, it says to wear a mask and I'll tell you exactly why. Because this reeks, yes. Definitely wear a mask. I can smell it already. So this is gonna be a basic process as well, just like the other. Guys, so far, this project, I would say, on a DIY scale of one to 10, is like a five, for sure. I'm pretty sure anyone can do this. Like if you, yeah. I mean, probably the hardest part of the whole thing is just getting your floor clean. And once you do that, well, and maybe opening up this can of stuff. There we go. Yeah, cleaning the floor is probably the hardest part and then just kind of deciding on the finished look that you're going for. Oh, might be out of focus. This high-end YouTube channel doesn't have a uh, camera person, believe it or not. So I kind of use my phone sometimes just to see if it's in focus or what's happening. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off. I'm gonna put my mask on. I'm gonna mix this up. And I'll see you down in the old dungeon. Booyah. Oh. Getting too old for this shit. <laughs> Booyah. It's worth noting that in the kit, the rollers they provided are a four, in this is a four inch, half inch nap. And so is the nine inch roller. They're both half inch nap for semi smooth to semi rough surfaces. I'm gonna start with this four inch cutting in the sides and then I'll just let her buck. You know, most of my YouTube videos are pretty funny because I usually end up screwing it up so bad, but this one's been kind of straightforward. Well, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Nelly Furtado. I'll just leave that right there for now. The sealer's kind of going on as expected. I don't know, it gets a little, I don't think you're supposed to roll over it too many times, like just get it on there and leave it. Or it gets a little tacky or something. Yeah. A wise man once told me that I should get a way wider roller than this nine inch one. And he's gonna watch this video and take the piss out of me. You guys want to see a sick edit and boom, just like that. We are buttoned up down here. I mean, I love the color. I love how the color, I could have done a little better job uh, putting the sealer on because you can kind of see some streakiness and stuff like that. I probably could have put the product on a little thicker as well, but we were kind of going for this faded worn look. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool when you, look back at to what it looked like before with just the plain concrete. Or I mean, it would be even worse with that garage paint on the floor, but you can see some of the old shots here of what it looked like before and now what it looks like after. Take you into this bedroom here, look around, see what it was like before, see what it looks like now. So at the end of the day, this was fairly easy to do. I mean took more time shooting the video than it did to do the other bits of it, but, and it'd probably take you the same amount of time just to roll on the garage floor paint, really. 
But uh, yeah, I'm super happy with the color. I think you're not gonna get the color perfect every time because concrete is different colors in different places of the world. So there's that little bit of the factor of the variety in there, but I love the look. I think it looks super cool. It's unique. I will 100% use this product again. Uh, like I say, it took forever to make this video. So if you could like give it a thumbs up or subscribe or whatever you gotta do. Also, I'm happy to answer any questions about the process, you know, the good and the bad, anything like that. So hit me up in the comments for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the look of the floor and I hope you'll come back for more. Later. <laughs>